It is 9.45 on this Saturday morning. We're going to change our tune a little bit here. What's a little weather coverage without a science experiment? Exactly. How about that? We have Carl Nelson here from the Imagination Station. Good morning. Good morning. We're going to talk about invisibility. Ooh, okay. You hear about that in movies and in books, and let's talk about some science of how you could actually make something invisible. Ooh, I love okay. this already because right. I would love to be invisible for so a day. So take a pencil. This okay. is something everybody's done. Just drop it in the water. Okay? Now the pencil is not invisible yet. No, right? we can see it. You can yes. see it. And you can even see that it is a little bit bent looking if you look under the side, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. Sure. So when the light bounces off the pencil, we see reflection, so we see the pencil. Okay. And then when the light travels through the water, it actually slows down. Oh, okay. Which I'm sure you've heard the speed of light's a constant. Right. And it is. It's a constant in any given material. So it actually slows down when it goes through the water and that causes the light to bend okay. and the pencil looks broken. Yeah, the pencil looks like it's kind of broken on its, so its side, which you can see. Two okay. parts. Same thing in oil. Oil has a slower speed of light than water. And so the pencil might look even more broken in there. Okay. okay. But we're not making anything invisible. No. So your first temptation would be, well, just put something clear inside something clear. Give it a try. So a clear glass rod in water, it's kind of hard to see, yeah. but you can still see it. Sure. <clears throat> the real trick here is to match the speed of light in the material with the speed of light in the liquid Only you're putting you it in. Only you would come up with this. Okay. So, this is really cool. So All right. try this. Drop this or just slip All that right, down into the canola television. oil. Look at that. It just disappears. Huh. Is wow. that not the coolest thing ever? Yeah, that's pretty neat. I don't neat. know if you can see that. No, yeah, it that's is awesome. Pyrex glass rods okay. in canola oil. Those two materials have very, very close matched speeds of light. Now, it, does it have to be the Pyrex glass rod? That's Pyrex, important? Okay. Pyrex. So if you have some Pyrex glassware at home. Which I do, yes. Okay. You could do that in a big container of canola oil. All right. In fact, you can even have some fun drop in here. This is oil floating on top of water. Okay. And you see the glass rod on the top. And then you it disappears. You don't see it in the middle, but you see it in the bottom. Yes. All because of the different speeds of light. Huh. Okay. Wow. So in this giant container, which is empty. Right. Right. So actually down inside here, I actually have another oh, wow. big beaker of oil. Okay. Okay. And maybe you can help me hold that. That's why okay. I have the gloves on. All right. It's going to yeah. be a little messy. Sure. Um, and maybe I can pull out from inside there another beaker. Oh, wow. All of okay. this was inside of there. All of that was inside of there. And in in fact, another one? Oh, there's another wow. one. And in fact, inside there, there's another one. Stop it. Okay. Oh, look at that little guy. That's so cute. Okay, so oh. this just goes to show that we couldn't see any of this. You could not see any of that inside. In fact, you can drop the little guy right inside there and you'll watch it just disappear as it goes into the oil. All because, again, same speed of light in the glass as well as in the oil. Wow. It's a messy experiment, so if you try it at home, yeah. <laughs> be prepared for that. How about but that? Wesson canola oil, I have found, works the best. Okay, sounds good. That and a little bit of Pyrex and maybe some gloves, and Mom some and gloves. Dad. How about Absolutely. that? Yep. All right. Well, Carl Nelson, that's this week's Imagine It. Thanks so much for coming in. And if you're looking for something to do, as of right now, the Imagination Station is still open, so you can head down there with the family. They're open all day. And just a reminder, those 12 and under get in free that live in Lucas County with an adult, correct? Absolutely. Yep. Okay. Every Saturday. Sounds good. Thanks so much, Carl. From there, let's check in with the boys. They have a look back at Basketball Friday.